so as you know, there's a, a digital revolution. Uh, I don't think we have to sell anyone at this point on uh, you know, whether to do social media or not or to do internet marketing. Uh, most people, 81% uh, or more of all adults, use social media of some sort. Um, so it's, it's already taken off. It's a matter of you know, how do you dig in. And traditional media is in trouble. Um, maybe, maybe not gone this far with the, I think this is the guy from Cheech and Chong and uh, with, the, <laughs> with Gmail uh, as the mail truck. You know, Google, sometimes it feels like they're, they're like what Microsoft used to be almost now. You know, they're kind of controlling a little, it's a little scary, like Google's controlling so much. Um, so Paul's site, newspaperdeathwatch.com, <laughs> well, how did you come up with that? It just came to me. It just came yeah. to me in a dream. I'm doing it four and a half years now. Yeah, but Newspaper Death Watch. So the changes in newspapers. How many people are still doing a lot of, of newspaper advertising? Probably, probably a good chunk, right? Yep. But, you know, it's... These are changing times, so that site helps kind of keep an eye on, on what's going on with newspapers. ChaosScenario.net, uh, former ad agency executive from Madison Avenue, talks about uh, the changes in, in media. That's an, another great site. And so it's pretty easy to overlook um, having some negative comments about your business. Uh, some people come to us. Uh, like a couple of weeks ago, a dentist came to us, and we actually right from right here in Woburn, and we searched for Woburn uh, dentist, Woburn MA dentist in Google while we were in the, the sales pitch in our conference room, and up on the screen there were 11 reviews of this dentist, and they didn't they weren't aware of that they were proud of their brand new website, and uh, we and they they had 119 reviews that they had paid this company to manage their reviews but they had completely overlooked the Google reviews. 11 out of 11 were bad reviews. So they hired us the next day. They didn't even notice, you know. Um, so sometimes it's not, do I do social media and what tactics do I do, but just listening to, you know, are other people talking about you? So United uh, Airlines broke this guy's guitar. He's a musician and his band was, was touring and um, there's a really funny video on YouTube, um, and it got 10 million views, over 10 million views, where he's making fun of United because they didn't really seem to care. You know, they, he said, "Hey, you know, you, you could buy me a new guitar because I watched the guys throwing it around, <laughs> like they were whipping it around in the parking lot while they were packing the, the, uh, you know, the plane." So he had a pretty legitimate beef that maybe they should even buy him a new guitar, and they they kind of fought with him over it. So. He got mad, and he's an you know, actor, musician, and put this thing up, and now 27,000 plus negative comments about United Airlines and this really scathing but funny video. So you do have to keep an eye out for you know what people are saying about you. Um, and the marketing concept has changed in general. You, now you, you need to add value or be um, blocked out. So uh, coming from an ad agency family, we're, you know, all my life, I heard you know it's reach and how many people can we reach? You know millions. You know what's the amount of um, uh, if you're doing media planning? It's how many? What's the circulation of the media you're trying to get into? And then we'll make the cutest ad possible. And our little cute ad will sell people and we'll put a big, you know, uh, purchase uh, type of sales thing in their face. But those days are, are are quickly coming to a close. You can't just be cute. You have to be engaging now because people have options on the web. And they can just click to the next website. <clears throat> and what I find interesting is that we're at less than 30% penetration of people in the world having web or not. So uh, 6.8 billion people in the world approximately now with 28% of them on the web. That's, you know, less than 30% of people. So, you know, I think it's exciting that it's going to just get better. You know, the, you know, we're still in the web's infancy in a lot of ways. And mobile is, is um, growing in leaps and bounds. And uh, you know, by 2014, they're projecting you know, even greater dominance uh, over PC use because, of course, a lot of people in third world countries, China, Africa, India, they don't all have personal computers, but smartphones are now readily available. I think even iPhones are, are, are pretty cheap now, the, the old ones. Um, so that's going to make a big change in uh, you know the activity that you could get out of marketing on the web. 
And then uh, additionally, we're really in the very early stages of co uh, convergence of your television and your set-top box, of your, your cable box and your TV. Google TV, I've, I've been telling myself I'm going to buy it you know, for months. Um, I have a Sony PlayStation that lets me connect to the web and I can use Netflix, but I really want to get Google TV to easily search the web from the comfort of my couch as opposed to always having to be you know, on, on the computer to watch YouTube videos or, or engaging content. And I think when that hits you know, really mainstream and that becomes much more popular, I see additional great uh, you know, opportunities for marketers when mobile dramatically brings up the amount of people on the web and, and uh, set-top boxes, it's, it's really easy to search from your couch. And so right now, if you look at marketing at a 30,000 foot view, what can you do to do internet marketing on the web? Essentially, the, the two big players are Google and Facebook, of course. Uh, you know, they're both looking like demons here. But um, in, in May, we had uh, on Google and Google Sites, so um, one billion, and, and sorry, that, that's a typo actually, one billion unique visitors on Google, not searches, uh, one billion unique visitors uh, in, in the month of May, just on Google and Google Sites, meaning Google, YouTube, the, which is the second largest search engine in the world, actually bigger than Yahoo and Bing. So Google, YouTube, and Blogger, which Google also owns. Um, so those three Google Sites, it's a phenomenal amount of, you know, one billion people is a, a lot of people in one month. Um, and I think it's like 34,000 searches a second. So there's a lot of business to be had out of those searches. And then Facebook, it, it's, they have about, I think, uh, what is it, about 800 million? Yes, you know, and 500 million active 500 users. 500 million active users, 800 million in their database. Uh, and a lot of people spend a long time on Facebook, whereas you, know, you go to Google, you search, you find what you're looking for. People really hang out on Facebook. So that's, Facebook has Google beat in that sense, but Google still is, the predominant in terms of monthly visitors. Now, uh, how many people are on Google Plus? Okay, cool. Yeah, so a, a handful, um, but but that's good. Um, I think it's about 25 million people on Google Plus so far, but it's, it's 44 million. Is it 44 million now? Okay, yeah, that was last week. <laughs> you know, a couple of weeks ago when I. It was actually a week ago. It was actually a week ago. So probably about 50. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, so you blink your eye and it, and it grows. So 50 million is pretty good because, you know, when Facebook first was the big buzz, maybe it was three, four hundred million people, people were really freaking out and wow, what's going on? If, if Google can create a Facebook-like um, concept, which, which they have, um, they're going to be even scarier in a way. We love Google, but that's, you know, if they have all that, you know, billion searches and then they're now going to have so much social media stuff as well. It's staggering what, what Google could do. And where it's relevant for your marketing strategy is um, how many people are doing SEO right now, search engine optimization? Yeah, so um, if you want to get organically ranked in Google, uh, various social signals like Facebook likes and shares and plus ones you know, from Google can all influence your organic ranking. And what I, what I find really sort of, um, well, it's almost a conspiracy theory or, or somewhat compelling, you know, if, if everyone wants to be ranked well in Google and Facebook and Twitter impact your ability to rank in Google, um, is that really a good thing for Google to promote? And you know, not that they really share their secret sauce of their algorithm anyway, but if they were to send signals that, yeah, absolutely, get on Facebook and Twitter, and we're going to give you a better rank in Google, that's not really good for their profits because they'd rather Google Plus get big than people all go to Facebook and Twitter. Um, you know, I think there's just a reality they have to use that. That's part of, uh, you know, there's 800 million people on Facebook, so they can't uh, ignore that. But I would just keep a real close eye on Google Plus uh, and Plus Ones because it, it does. You know, it, it is a strong signal to Google that you know you're a credible person, and it's Google itself versus Facebook or Twitter. So just you know, a, a really interesting development to keep an eye on. 
And so despite 60% lower cost per lead, um, you know, we're still at about 24%. Uh, well, this is from 2010, but I think now it's, you know, there are different stats on it, but anywhere from 19 to 26% of the overall spend on advertising goes to digital marketing. So people put a lot of money into TV, you know, still a good chunk into radio. Print is certainly dwindling. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's proven that internet leads can cost a lot less, but uh, the world is still slowly adapting. And this is a slide from Forrester Research that shows where the internet marketing dollars are being spent. So if you're trying to map out a strategy for your internet marketing, it's good to look at what the rest of the world is doing, right? So at least in this case, the rest of the country. This chunk here, the vast majority of interactive marketing spend from 2011 to 2016 is search marketing, meaning search engine optimization and pay-per-click. And then you have display advertising, people putting banner ads on the New York Times, that's pretty you know, costly. So uh, banner ads can take up a big, big chunk of the budget. That's pretty easy for marketers to do. Then mobile, email, and social media are the fastest climbing. It's just good to look at you know, the ratios. And, and I think social media is gonna just grow and grow and grow. We're so excited about it. Uh, but, but that's where it stands right now. So social media, uh, a, a smaller chunk than, than search marketing, and then by uh, 2016, it's, it's sort of about the same. Uh, you're still, Forrester is pro projecting that search and, and you know, SEO and pay-per-click are still a large chunk with maybe 35% uh, of marketing budgets as opposed to 24%. Um, but we think it's really moving uh, towards maybe you know 50% of your marketing budget will, uh, for a lot of companies, will go towards um, digital marketing. And certainly for smaller businesses, we have companies working with us where we're basically at all of their budget. But great when you're strategizing to look at how the, how the country is spending. And then in terms of pay-per-click, um, on the left, we see the distribution of search clicks. So, you know, when you go to Google or Yahoo or Bing, different, different search engines, you'll see um, it used to be just static text links. That was the old search engine. Then they added pay-per-click ads. Um, and the uh, paid ads, uh, most people, when we ask people, they say, oh, yeah, you know, we don't even click those. But uh, this chart is, uh, from Inquisit is saying that it's about... 10% of people click the paid ads. Traditionally, we've always said it's about 30%. Does that mean you can't get business from pay-per-click? Absolutely not. We have huge uh, success, we think, from uh, paid search. We have some clients spending 50000 a month in, in pay-per-click with us and, and getting returns on that. But it is still a small percentage of people that click those paid ads. Um, and 90% of people click the organic results, you know? Uh, so w very interesting that uh, in 2008, the US search engine marketing spend, people put 90% of their budgets into pay-per-click. That's a little bit odd, isn't it? If, you know, most people don't even click them, but let's throw all our money there. Um, I'm not saying not to do pay-per-click, but just the ratios are, I think, interesting to, to take a look at. And then another really overarching thing to, to, uh, that, that uh, I find personally fascinating is that $56 billion will be spent this year driving traffic to websites, yet people aren't really paying attention to their conversion rates. So if, you know, if you're a bank and you know, you're not even tracking the amount of people that go sign up for an auto loan or a, um, you know, a mortgage, uh, you know, because oh, that's hard, there are analytic steps in the way, maybe the tracking has to go to a third-party website, um, you know, those things are painful to do sometimes, but once you figure that out, you'll know what your conversion rate is. You know, if, if 100 people come to your website and two do something, uh, you have a 2% conversion rate. Now, wouldn't you rather 10 out of 100 people, you know, buy an auto loan or, or uh, sign up for something? Um, so, a lot of people are really obsessing over driving traffic with good reason to websites, but a small amount spending to fix their website properly. 